Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started In today's video we are going to build an invoice application using React and React PDF framework Making an invoice or generating a PDF on fly is very interesting for a developer. And in this video, we are going to deep dive and try to build a billing application where users can create invoices on fly. Before we focus on building the application, let's see the demo of what we are going to learn in this video. In this application, users can attach their icons apart from this type shop name address by a name phone number and footer message apart from this users can add items like original invoice after adding the items user will be able to generate a pdf by just clicking the button Now let's start with the coding part. For starters, we already have added Tailwind to the application. We have also added components where we have created input form and invoice document files. Input form component file consists of the form part where user will be able to type their name, address and other information. while inside the invoice document file we are going to add a section view where we will be showing how to show a pdf view inside app js we just have added both of these components as side by side view along with generate button so currently the application looks something like this Let's first work on a feature to add the user data inside a structure. To do so, create a state as form data where we collect data in form of structure as follows: logo, shop name, address, buyer name, phone, footer, and items the user wants to add inside the invoice inside the input form element pass those values also pass the set form data as we want to set those values from inside that component inside the input form file we call those values we pass from the app file for adding multiple items inside the input form component we need to create a new state as an item where we can add a sample element now just uncomment all the input elements for the form For listing items inside the invoice, inside the input form element, we can also parse all the elements stored inside the items, and we'll be able to show all the elements in real time as well. Here we can see that the UI is somewhat ready. For viewing preview of the added image we can also uncomment this part of the code which shows the image when it detects the url Now let's work on a way to add a list of items inside the invoice Inside the handle item change function spread out the value of name and value and use the set function to add the value inside the state also create another function so that when user clicks the button we can check that the values entered by the user are not empty then value will be added
Now we can see that we are able to add items to the list. In the next step, we are working on a feature where user will be able to add logo of their brand. First, spread the value of file, value, name and type. Then if the file value is passed, we select that file and using the file reader API, read that file and get the URL. If there is no file uploaded, then we just set the invoice data as it is. In this part, we made a mistake. In spite of render, we were supposed to add the reader thins. Now the form input part is over. Let's work on the feature where we are generating the PDF. First, we need to install the React PDF renderer. After installing the library, import the PDF view element. For generating a PDF view, we need to pass the view inside the PDF viewer element which will be able to generate our desired view. Set the width and height of the content and insert the invoice document component inside it. Ensure that the app will be able to generate content when the generate button is pressed and not when there is a change of content in the view, we can create a function to generate PDF when the generate button is pressed. To do so, create a state final invoice data which starts as an empty structure. Create another state as show PDF which will show the PDF component when the button is pressed. Then check if the show PDF is true, show the view otherwise hide the view. Pass the state value inside the invoice document component. Now create a function to generate the PDF which sets the value of invoice data to the final invoice data and swaps the show PDF value. After setting up the basic app structure, now let's work on the PDF generation view. To do so, open the invoice document file inside it, comment out the style parts which you can also copy from the GitHub repo and links you can find inside the description section. Basically, the styles part consists of all the CSS based styles that you want to put inside the PDF document. For example, we are setting different styles for different components of the invoice. For example, page, header, logo and so on. To provide the components inside the PDF view, we need to import some components from the PDF renderer library which includes document page, text, view style, sheet and image.
inside the invoice document function, we can spread out the data we pass inside the app.js file. Before we generate any view inside the PDF view, we validate the data we get from the input form, otherwise it will create an error while generating the PDF view. To do so, we create a const valid items where we check that we get items from the previous components. If not, we set it out empty array. After that, we filter out the values from it and assign the value and type we want. To calculate the final price, create another const and use the reduce function which will be able to calculate the value of items inside it. Now let's create the PDF document layout first. Inside the return statement, add document tag. After that, add page tag which is set to A4 size. You can put whatever page size you want after the add the styles. Inside the page, first create the header section which will consist of shop name and address. After that, if the user provides the logo, we can show using an image tag. Otherwise, we can also show the text like logo and put the style however we want. After that, create a section for buyer information, which consists of the buyer's name, phone number and date of billing. Then add the header section for item name, quantity, price and total cost of that section. If no items are added to the list, then show filter text. And if not, then we show each item with the respective styles. Then add the section which shows total cost of the product. Down to that, add the footer section with its values. Here we made a mistake. Inside app.js file, adding the set final invoice data function, which will set the data.
Now finally our application is complete. Let's now check whether we are able to generate the PDF or not. And here we go, you see, we are easily able to integrate the PDF. So I really hope that you liked watching this video and you have learned something amazing today. We are very curious about what you can do after learning this and let us know by writing the comment section below. So for now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video. Thank you. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.